Anytime Ijaz attacks the Bible, he shows that he's smarter than Muhammad, better than Muhammad, knows more than Muhammad. Why? Because the consistent teaching of the Quran and the sound narration is that Muhammad confirmed the very scriptures that the Jews and Christians had in their possession at his time. Trust me, Mr. Sam, you really don't want to go there. Anyway, if you insist, then make my day and help me to hang you. And the Quran says that Jesus confirmed the very scriptures between his hands at his time. Unless now he just wants to come up with some new set of scriptures. The only scriptures that would have been in existence in the time of Jesus up to Muhammad are the very scriptures that have variations, just like the Quran does. Let me just go through a slew of verses for the sake of time. Chapter 2, verses 40 to 44. Chapter 2, verse 89. Chapter 2, verse 91. Chapter 2, verse 101. Chapter 2, verse 113. Chapter 2, verse 121. Chapter 2, verse 136. Chapter 3, verses 3 to 4. Chapter 3, verse 50. Chapter 4, verse 47. And then we go to chapter 5, verses 43 to 48, 66 to 68, and on and on it goes. And then the sound narration. So, Ejaz, make my day. Help me to hang you. Attack the Bible for variations because you show that you know more than Muhammad. That means you expose him as a false prophet. But if you believe in Muhammad, you have to accept the Bible, and he's still a false prophet because Muhammad was an ummi. He did not know that his Quran contradicts the Bible. The books are... The Quran has confirmed the Bible. The Quran has confirmed the authenticity of the Bible. And therefore, if you as a Muslim say that the Bible has been corrupt, therefore you are going against your Allah and you want to show us that you know more than your Allah and you know more than your Prophet. This has been the biggest point for Sam Shamon and his petite ex-Muslims all over social media. And they so believed that they were making a huge point. When in fact, all they did was to pick out the word that confirming that which has come before it. That is the only word that they picked from all of these verses. We are going to read all of these verses together, detail it. After this video, you will find out the emptiness. We are going to expose the emptiness of this Sam and his team, all of them. Now, before we start reading all of these verses that he has, pointed out. Let me give you one very important verse from Surah Al-Baqarah, Surah number 2, verse number 146, where Allah says, Those we have given the scripture recognize this prophet, i.e. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, as they recognize their own children. Yet, a group of them hides the truth knowingly. Take note of this very verse. He started with Quran chapter 2 verse 40 to 44. Now Quran chapter 2 verse 40 says, O children of Israel, remember my favors upon you. Fulfill your covenant and I will fulfill mine. And stand in awe of me. And what was this covenant all about? The covenant was that believe in the new prophet that is going to come and that I have detailed described in your scriptures. And when he comes, do not hide the information about him. And also, do not hide anything that I have sent to you in your scriptures. And verse 41 says, Believe in my revelations, which confirm your scriptures. Do not be the first to deny them or trade them for a fleeting gain, and be mindful of me. So which is the revelation that confirms the scriptures? It is the Quran. Believe in the Quran because I have described the Quran to you and the messenger that is going to bring the Quran. So our covenant is when he come, you believe in him. So now he has come, believe in him and do not be the first people to deny him because you know him detailly. And verse 42 says, do not mix the truth with falsehood or hide the truth knowingly. Do not mix the truth about the messenger that I described unto you in your scriptures. And do not hide the truth knowingly. Do not hide the truth about the messenger that I have described in your, in your scriptures. Then verse 43 says, Establish prayer, pay alms, that is tax, and bow down with those who bow down. Bow down with those who bow down. Who are the people who bow down? Bow down with the, with the Muslims with their prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the one I described to you in your scriptures. Then verse 44 says, Do you preach righteousness and fail to practice it yourselves, although you read the scripture? 
Do you not understand? Do you preach righteousness? And you read the scriptures. And there in the scriptures, a prophet is described. And you have seen him with your own eyes. Do not preach righteousness, which is following that same prophet and then disbelieving in him at the same time. I wonder how a man will enter the Quran, select ayahs, then he cannot even read the complete ayah. He just reads one statement in the ayah. We are not saying that you should compare these ayahs with other ayahs. We are just giving you the exact thing that is written in the, in the ayahs. Read the ayah completely. It is not here to tell you that the Quran is confirming the remnants of the scriptures you have in your hands, which may have some uh, truth in it. But the most parts of it are falsehood, falsified by the pen of the scribes. And in Quran 2 verse 89, Allah says, although they used to pray for victory by means of the prophet over the polytheist, when they came to them, a book from Allah, which they recognized, confirming the scripture they had in their hands, they rejected it. So may Allah's condemnation be upon the disbelievers. And you really need to cry about this, because if your predecessors did not corrupt your Bible, and they did not disbelieve in the prophet that was well explained and described to them in their scriptures not the remnants you you have in your hands right now like you would have been a muslim you would have been a muslim quran is stating clearly that your predecessors what they did was they saw the prophet they recognized the prophet confirmed by their own scriptures and then they did what they rejected the prophet and they started dashing out verses from the bible that recognized and described that prophet Let's move on to the next ayah. And in Quran 2 verse 91, Allah says, When it is said to them, that is, the Jews and the Christians, Believe in what Allah has revealed. They reply, We only believe in what was sent down to us. That is, believe in the Quran that Allah has revealed to Muhammad, who is detailed described in your scriptures. They say, We only believe in what was sent down to us. And they deny what came afterwards, which was, the Quran, though it is the truth, confirming their own scriptures, confirmed in their own scriptures, the Quran was well confirmed in their own scriptures. Ask them, O Prophet Muhammad, why then did you kill Allah's prophets before, if you are truly believers? For this verse is telling them, if you were true believers, if you are truly believers, then you will believe in that which was sent to you in the scriptures, in which Prophet Muhammad is detailed described to you. And if you clearly claim that you are now believing in the scriptures that were sent before, why did you then kill the messengers and the prophets who came with those books? You see, the hypocrisy did not just start today. And it seems some really inherited a, a very big deal of the hypocrisy. And in Quran 2 verse 101, Allah says, Now when a messenger from Allah has come to them, confirming their own scriptures, some of the people of the book cast the book of Allah behind their backs as if they did not know. So when Prophet Muhammad came to them, that prophet that has been described very well in their scriptures, and they discovered that he was really the one, a group amongst them threw their, 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 their Injil and their Torah behind their backs as if they did not care. <laughs> So if this verse came as Sam is saying to prove that the Quran has confirmed the Bible and the Torah, then why did their owners, why did some of their owners throw the books behind their backs and disbelieved in Muhammad? Because they were jealous of him. A prophet they were so much expecting instead came from the Arabs and not from the children of Israel. And this verse in itself is a proof that the Bible has been corrupted by its owners. And in Quran 2 verse 113, Allah says, The Jews say, the Christians have nothing to stand on, which means the Christianity is not the right religion. And the Christians say, the Jews have nothing to stand on, meaning the Christians also say, the Jews are not following the right religion. Although both recite scriptures, and those pagans who have no knowledge say the same about people of faith, surely, Allah will judge between them on the day of judgment 
regarding their dispute. So why did Mr. Shamon bring up this verse? Maybe to say that they were reading their scriptures, that the Quran is saying that they were reading their scriptures during the time of Prophet Muhammad, therefore the Quran is confirming the Bible. No, that is not the case. The Quran is telling you how these people, out of their hatred for each other, abandoned their scriptures and became like the, 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 the polytheists who did not have any scriptures from Allah. Meanwhile, under normal circumstance, the Torah was supposed to be confirming the, the, the Injil or the Bible. And likewise. But what actually happened is the opposite. The Jews, the Jews become the biggest enemy of the Christians. So this is telling you how they follow their true desires and corrupt the books of Allah. And interestingly, in Quran, 2 verse 121, Allah says, Thus we have given the book, follow it as it should be followed. It is they who truly believe in it. As for those who reject it, it is they who are the losers. How did some of the Jews and the Christians follow their scriptures as prescribed by Allah in this verse? They followed the description of Prophet Muhammad wasallam, and they accepted Islam. The likes of Salman al-Farisi who came as far as from Persia to Medina, searching for that prophet. And when he saw the signs in the prophet, he accepted him. So it is not confirming the Bible and the, and the Torah that you have in your hands now, Mr. Sham. And this is confirmed in this ayah of the Holy Quran, in Surah Al-Imran, Surah Tere, verse number 113, where Allah says, Yet they are not all alike. That is the people of the book, the Jews and the Christians. There are some among the people of the book who are upright, who recite Allah's revelations throughout the night, prostrating in prayer, which means there are some who actually believed in the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam according to what they found in their scriptures. But unfortunately for some and the rest, they, we are not so fortunate to meet these verses that made some of the Christians and the Jews to accept Islam before. Had it been their predecessors were so merciful to them, enough to allow them to see their, their verses, none of them would have been left in Christianity. So unfortunate. And he also made mention of Quran 2 verse 136, but permit me to start from 135. And Allah says, The Jews and the Christians each say, Follow our faith to be rightly guided. Say, O Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. No, we follow the faith of Abraham, the upright, who was not a polytheist. The 136 he quoted says, Say, O believers, that is to the Jews and the Christians, we believe in Allah and what has been revealed to us, and what was revealed to Abraham, Ishmael, Isaac, Jacob, and his descendants, and what was given to Moses, Jesus and other prophets from their Lord. We make no distinction between any of them and to Allah we all submit. So unfortunately again for some, this is not for you. This is just against you totally. According to you, you are trying to establish the fact that Allah asked the Muslims to confirm the fact that they believe in the scriptures that we are sent to Moses and Jesus, yes, we do. We do believe in those scriptures that we are sent to them. Not this remnant that you have now. Of course, it has been corrupted. The Bible is a witness to it. The Quran is a witness to it. The Christians are a witness to it. And you yourself is the witness to the fact that the Bible has been corrupted. That at one time when it was written down, it was complete. Has it been changed? Yes, we agree. It has been changed. And then this ayah makes mention of a very important fact that according to the Christians and the Jews, both of them will not go to paradise like we mentioned earlier. All of them think that Muslims have to leave Islam to accept either uh, uh, the Jewish religion or the Christian religion in order to succeed. But under normal circumstances, these people were supposed to be confirming each other. Like we mentioned earlier, the Bible is supposed to be confirming the Torah and the Torah is supposed to be confirming the Bible. There is not supposed to be any conflict amongst them. Just like Allah instructed us to say that we believe in all the scriptures that we are sent down to their prophets and we do not make any distinctions with, between the prophets. And in Quran 4 verse 47, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, O you 
who we are given the book. Believe in what we have revealed, confirming you are on scriptures. Believe in the Quran that we have revealed. Listen again. Believe in what we have revealed that is confirmed in your own scriptures. Believe in Prophet Muhammad who was well described in your scriptures. Believe in the Quran that your scriptures told you about. And Allah continues to say, before we wipe out your faces, turning them backwards, or we condemn the defiant as we did to the Sabbath breakers, and Allah's command is always executed. So, Mr. Sam Shamon, the Quran did not ask you to believe in your scriptures. It says, believe in the Quran that your scriptures has been telling you about. Believe in Prophet Muhammad that your scriptures has been telling you about. Believe in Prophet Muhammad, that prophet that was prophesied in your scriptures and you have been waiting for. Believe in him. Because you had taken a covenant with Allah, that, uh, with Allah that when he comes, you are going to believe in him. If you don't do that, then we are going to hold your faces and turn them facing backwards. That is the promise of Allah. So you can see that all that you go around claiming on social media, the Quran confirms uh, the Bible. The Quran confirms the Bible. It is not true. You did not even read across a sentence. You just come into a very long verse or a verse that is a continuation of the previous verse to it. And then you pick a sentence saying, and then you go out, yeah, the Quran has confirmed the Bible. So that is not the work of an intellectual. Instead, that shows how empty you are. And a debate guru like you, who is the best Christian debate guru of the millennium? It's a disgrace, you know? Please, do not go away without subscribing. Turn on the notification button and share this video. May Allah bless you as you do so. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.